Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to answer question number three from the January 2020 Pure Mathematics P3 International A-Level Edexcel paper. Um, this is a question about logarithms and it's one of those new topics. And um, as this was the first paper um, for this particular new syllabus, this is like the first question on this new topic that's come up. And this is where you're dealing with logarithms and straight line graphs, basically. So linear relationships between um, and, and log graphs. So figure one shows a linear relationship between log to the base 10y and log to the base 10x. Okay. And so, so they, they've plotted, um, they found uh, the x values of something and the y values of something. Then they've take, taken the logs of the x values and the y values and they've made a table and plotted the points and they got this graph which goes a she gives you a straight line here it says the line passes through the point 0 4 and 6 0 as shown and find an equation linking log to the base 10 y with log to the base 10 x now any graph which is uh, linked with a linear relationship if it makes a straight line graph has got the form y equals mx plus c y equals mx plus c where m is the gradient and C is the y-intercept. Okay, so the y-intercept. Whoops, the y-intercept. So we can see here that the y-intercept C is equal to 4 straight away. And the gradient, M, is going to be the change in y, which is 4 minus 0, over the change in x, which is 0 minus 6, which is going to be minus 2 over 3. We've got 4 over 9 minus 6, which is minus 2 thirds. So I can see that this is of the form y equals minus 2 thirds x plus c okay now what i'm going to do is to make it differentiated from the x there i'm going to call this i'm going to call this capital y and mx and um, just so that it's not confused with the the x inside the log okay so i'll just call it like this this is capital y and this is x so basically here we can see that our y is going to be our, our capital Y is log to the base 10 of Y, and our capital X is log to the base 10 of X. Okay, you don't have to write the, the base 10 because log means base 10. Okay, so they've written it here, but you don't actually need to write it. So it says find the equation linking log to the base 10 Y with log to the base 10 X. So what we can do is we can say that uh, log to the base 10, I'll just write it because they did, is equal to the gradient which we found was minus two thirds times log to the base 10 of x okay that's your x part okay and plus c which was plus and it went through the y-intercept was four okay so here we have the equation linking log to the base 10 y and log to the base 10 x i've shown the steps up here where the graph is um, Probably I should have shown it down there, but just so we can see the graph in front of us, I've done it there. Okay, so that's the answer to part A, the equation linking log 10 to the base 10y with log to the base 10x. Now on to part B. Okay, so part B says, hence or otherwise, express y in the form p, x to the power of q, where p and q are constants to be found. So once we've got this here, we, we have a, a variety of methods we could use. Um, to express it in this form okay so one of the ways we could do it is we can find the value of p and q all right so we got um we could say all right so we want y to be in the form y equals p x to the power of q all right so if you rearrange this you're going to get log to the base 10 log y i'm taking log of both sides because these are expressed in terms of log is equal to log to the base 10 of p x to the power of q and i can rearrange it as log y equals log p plus q log x so this is like log p plus log q x to the power of q which is the power law so we split this up using the addition law or the multiplication law you could say and i've i've made the power go in front of the log using the power law so now we can see that what we've got in our equation is log y equals minus two thirds log x 
Okay, so what I can do is, just to make it clearer, okay, I can write this first in this form. Q log X plus log P. Okay, so we've got in our, what we found earlier is this. I'll just put it down here. This is what we found when we did our part A. Okay, this is what we found. So if we compare them with each other, what we can see is the Q, the Q is two thirds, or minus two thirds, I should say, and the the uh, the log p is four. Okay, so the log p is four. So we can find the values of Q. Well, we found the value of Q. We can find the value of p. This is log to the base ten. Remember. So th what this means is p is equal to 10 to the power 4. So p is equal to got four zeros, 10,000. Okay, so now we want to write this in the form y equals px plus q. So we can say y equals uh, p, which is 10,000 x, okay, uh, to the power of q, to the power of minus 2 thirds. And here we have the answer. Okay, we could have, we don't, we've, we've sorted out like that. What we could have done is we could have also taken this and rewritten this in this form. So what we could have done is we could have taken this, done it the other way around, and we could have said, okay, what we can do is bring the logs together on one side. So this is log to the base 10 y equals log to the base 10 x to the power of minus 2 thirds plus 4. And if we bring the logs together on one side, we can say this is log to the base 10 of y minus log to the base 10 of x to the power of minus 2 thirds equals 4. So I could combine this using the subtraction law, division law. You'll have y over x to the power of minus 2 thirds equals 4. So then we could just uh, re rewrite this in index form. This is 10 to the power of 4 equals this. So y over x to the power of minus 2 thirds equals 10 to the power of 4. So you end up with y equals 10 to the power of 4, which is got four zeros, 10,000 x to the power of minus 2 thirds. So that's another way of doing it, okay, by taking what we found earlier and rewriting it in um, basically exponent form. And this is the way where we just basically use the value of, find the, the value of q and pr from what we found earlier by splitting this up and then working out. Okay, working out what, uh, you know, we can just replace the P and the Q in the equation that they gave us. So there's two different ways we could have done that. Um, either of them is fine. Um, I think that was the end of this question. Yes, it was. Okay, so um, I'll be going on to another question now. This is um, the end of this question. So we have a questions from this particular paper, January 2020. I've, I'll collect together in the playlist over here and questions from this topic about exponentials and logarithms including this new topic will be in this playlist over here subscribe to my channel from the icon here and you can get a link to another paper uh, for p3 from the top there thank you for watching and i hope to see you again soon